Hey guys, Mixel here. Today we are building a mini ITX uh, mining rig. Uh, the reason why I'm going for um, ITX build is because this is going to be my main computer. But for now, I'm just going to mine on it. And the reason why is just because I don't have the graphics card or the case to this build. Um, so I have pre-installed the M2 SSD here. Uh, you can also use uh, a regular SSD or a HDD uh, disk. Um, I also have pre-installed the memory. Uh, but in a regular uh, mining setup, I recommend to just go with the one 4 gig stick or maybe one 8 stick. Um, of course, it, it depends on uh, what you have. And I also not uh, recommend to use AMD, but use Intel, uh, Intel Celeron or Pentium to, to have uh, uh, as a CPU. But I am going for <coughs> the Ryzen, uh, you don't see it, but it's a uh, 5800X, it's an 8 core 16 thread processor, it's just, uh, you can see here, uh, in this corner here, it's a golden triangle, and on the motherboard, here, is also a golden triangle, so it's easy to just put in. But of course, this is the next uh, second uh, expensive part, so be careful. Now it's installed. So now we have installed the CPU, RAM, and the M2 disk, also SSD disk. Um, I am going for my 1070 Ti here. It's going to be mounted here. And my M2 disk here, I'm just going to show you quick here. It's a Western Digital Black 1 terabyte. But of course, this is going to be my main station uh, sometime in the. Yeah late spring or maybe early summer so I hope I will hope I can use this PC but for now I'm just going to use my old PC you can find it on the, my videos here's a 32 gigabyte kit from Trident C Neo it is uh, 32 no, 60 3600 so it's a good uh, kit. My uh, motherboard is this uh, Asus Strix uh, B550 ITX. And of course I'm going for um, Ryzen so here's the sticker AMD Ryzen 5000 ready. Nice. Uh, sorry for the bad video here, and of course I'm going for. I'm going to zoom out here. Um, I have a cooling here, Kraken X53. Um, yeah, so like I said, this is a mining uh, rig for now. ITX build. We are fast for forward now. Uh, I have moved everything down to the basement. Um, so you can see I have installed my Kraken 53 here. It's down below there. We have the RAM, CPU under the, the cooler. We have mount uh, 1070 Ti. And we have a monitor here, keyboard, mouse. So, 
and wired everything up with my Corsair uh, 750 watts power supply ITX and this this thing here is uh, a wireless adapter from the motherboard you can see here so I'm going to show you now is um, the BIOS and how you set it up before you install Windows now now we're going to start the PC like so and uh, Okay, um, so a couple of things before you boot from your uh, uh, memory stick, or I have a Seagate here with uh, with the Windows 10. You can download it from your uh, PC, uh, laptop, everything. You can Google how to to download uh, Windows onto a memory stick. Or you can buy a new key from from uh, Kingwin or GA2 or yeah. But uh, you can see here, I I uh, when you boot up for the first time, you need to go to I Tweaker and set set it to. Uh, this here. This is because uh, if you don't, I don't know auto is auto, but manual. You can do it uh, on your own. Own, but with uh, these settings, um, you target the frequency of the memory. So we have a 3600 uh, memory. So it's uh, right here. Is very important with the Ryzen system. Not so important with the Intel. Uh, nothing special here. So now we can see uh, boot options when you are launching the first time. The only option is the memory stick, or with me, is a Seagate expansion. But now I have installed Windows, so this is okay here. Um, yeah, and of course you can uh, here uh, you can uh, update your um, BIOS. It's a uh, different between the the motherboards, but with the Asus. It is uh, like this. So, but it's not much you can do here now. Um, you are going to mine, so the system is not so important. You need to download the graphics card uh, driver and the nice hash. Uh, but yeah, nothing else actually from now. Okay. Save and change. So now you are going to save, and the next step now is going to boot up from your uh, uh, memory stick or uh, Seagate or wherever. So this is actually my first time in Windows on this PC. Um, you want to download NVIDIA driver to the graphics card. You want to download uh, nice hash, and uh, if you can download the chipset uh, 
from uh, Asus uh, website from Asus, yeah. Uh, because it's always good to have uh, up to date with uh, everything on your PC. But uh, the most important thing is driver from uh, from the graphics card maker and uh, and uh, nice hash. And you can see now my PC is just idling. Very actually very silent PC. So my graphics card is not going now because yeah it's no use here now. So I'm going to download everything now and I'm going to show you after. Uh, so now we have uh, downloaded all the drivers uh, for this mining ITX, ITX setup. Uh, I have uh, downloaded GeForce Experience to to um, to have the graphics driver. I have downloaded Nice Hash and MSC Afterburner. And uh, now we are mining and benchmarking. Um, I'm going to mine with the the, the gra graphics card and uh, the CPU here because the CPU I think it's going for 0 0.7 or something like that uh, dollars per day so it's actually yeah, okay and uh, I need the heat uh, in this basement so I don't uh, worry that it uses much power actually um, I have you can see here I put it's hard to see, but uh, I put uh, core clock at 120, uh, memory to 700, and the power limit to 67. Uh, on my 1070 Ti, it's working fine. Um, yeah, I'm not. Uh, <coughs> I haven't touched the the. Um, The Ryzen or the 5800X, but I think it's okay. The temperature now is 56 degrees, so it's yeah, no, it's smooth. It's smooth. Um, yeah, I just want to show you guys uh, in this horrible time with the. Uh, the GPU shortage, shortage. I can't pronounce it. Uh, but uh, I uh, need a case to my ITX uh, build, but I don't have decided which uh, case I'm going for. So just going for uh, this <laughs> setup now. It's on the box. Um, yeah. And now you can see now I'm mining with uh, still benchmarking here. So it's. Yeah, I don't know. This, But this is the setup. I hope you enjoy this uh, quick, quick dive into uh, a mini ITX mining rig here. And um, yeah, I cannot have uh, more GPUs on this because it's only one slot here, but uh, it's fine. I can use my other PC if I get more graphics card. Uh, yeah, but uh, hope you enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video and. Uh, I see you in the next one. I forgot to say that uh, with my 1070 Ti and this overclock here, I get about uh, 31.77 megahertz.